Hey guys, welcome back. So in today's video, I am going to be reacting to another song by Marcelita Pomoy. It's him singing Power of Love by Celine Dion. This one was highly, highly, highly requested um, since I started reacting to him. And I'm just now getting like around to reacting to more of his stuff. So I'm not sure. I'm, I'm pretty sure. I think I know what to expect, but I'm at the same time, I'm not entirely sure. Now that I've heard his pop voice, I don't know if he's going to sing it as a pop song or if he's going to do his two voices in one thing. I, I really don't know. So, But all I know is that I'm excited because this is a big song and it's hard for females to sing. So I'm I'm curious how how he handles it. So let's just jump into the song. The whisper in the morning Wish 1075 Of lovers leaving town Rolling by like tender now Ooh, that was a pretty run. And feel it's move you may Your voice is warm and tender I love that I could Wait. I've said this in other videos where people are either mimicking Celine Dion like Katrina Velarde or they are singing Celine songs. The way Celine Dion sometimes sings love comes out love and it cracks me up and he just did it and it just that's the reason I laugh because you know because Celine's first language was French and I think she learned English in like three months to start recording in English and promoting her herself like in the states and other countries because um, her manager at the time Later, husband Renee, I think, is the one who told her, if you want to be successful, you're going to need to learn English. And so she learned English in three months. So some of her words at the beginning of her career sounded a little funny. But love, for some reason, love still would come out love every now and then when she gets like really into a song. And so it just makes me laugh whenever people are singing her songs, they also end up Maybe not intentionally, but they end up saying certain words the way she does. And it's just, it's not how they normally would sing that particular word. And love is one of those words that people, when they're singing her stuff, it comes out love. It just makes me laugh. <laughs> but he's doing really good. I like his voice and his little runs and the little lilts and all the little thingies so far. And I'm only like, I don't know, 30 seconds in. I'm your light And you are my man Whenever you reach for me I'll do all that I can Lost this hell Even though there may be time It seems I'm far away That was always one of my favorite parts Never of the song
noticed okay so he was obviously singing in his soprano range he hit that high note at the end I thought it came in much earlier that's why I said here we go because I was anticipating it at that point but I forgot it's actually later in the song but when he hit that note it was obvious that that's like super comfortable for him like he wasn't straining at all like you know like I've mentioned in other videos and I'm sure you've seen other reactors or vocal coaches say this I'm not a vocal coach I'm just something it's just something I know that when you're straining, you can some these things, little veins, will poke out, and it's causing stress on the vocal cords and can cause vocal damage, especially if it's not in your range, and or you have not warmed up properly. It, it it's not a good idea to do that. So, but when he hit those big notes, nothing. It was just like, oh yeah, I do this all the time. <laughs> It was obviously in his in a comfortable range for him, and it wasn't something he had to think about. Like, he just did it, and I'm like, wish I could do that. I really liked it. I'm, I don't know why, but I was thinking, because he's a dude, and the line is, I'm your lady, I was thinking he would change the words to, because you're my lady and I'm your man, or something like that, but he didn't. I mean, it doesn't bother me. I don't care. I was just like kind of taken aback a little bit like oh he decided to not change the words okay that's cool I mean I can see why people wanted me to react to this particular song I've been getting it since I posted my first reaction of him I think this was actually the most requested song for me to react to from that first video but because I knew he could do both tenor and soprano I decided to react to uh con te partido instead and then decided to do this one later and of course, I will be reacting to Beauty and the Beast because that's another one that I'm guessing he does both voices. Um, but I am getting to that one. I just, I really wanted to do this song first. I'm a huge Celine Dion fan and I was like, I, I have to hear him sing this song. There's just, I just, I just have to. But I was not disappointed at all. Like, his his voice is so interesting and 
I like that he stayed in the one tone. I, I, I mean, I don't, I could see how he could have turned this into like a duet with himself. I kind of, I almost like that he didn't instead, and he just stayed as you know, just in the higher in his higher range. And it wasn't his pop voice like I had anticipated. That's really all I have to say about this particular video. I just, it was, mm hmm. I, I really like him. So. I'm going to wrap this video up. So if you like these kinds of videos where I react to things, please hit the subscribe button. Don't forget to hit the notification bell to be notified when I have new videos coming out. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.